Look at the visible satellite. You can see that we do have clouds on top of us, but there are some breaks out there to the west. That's where that sunshine got in there around Lansing and Jackson and boosted those temperatures. So we may see a couple uh, breaks, especially in the west zone here, but it's going to be really fleeting as sunset approaches. You can see the temperature trend or change compared to yesterday. Most locations are warmer, albeit not by much, just a degree or two. And we'll see a little bit more of a change tomorrow. In fact, parts of the area are going to 40. Downriver, you may get there, even though we're calling for an official high temperature of 38 there at Metro Airport. South zone highs are going to be in the upper 30s to low 40s. We'll see some slightly cooler temperatures, but everybody makes big strides compared to yesterday, or today, I should say. Upper 30s in the west zone for high temperatures tomorrow. And our north zone, pretty much in the same ballpark here. A lot of upper 30s as we finish out our Saturday afternoon. Although it's not going to be completely dry, and you'll see here on the forecast map, uh, we get through tonight with no problem. Tomorrow, the models are hinting at some moisture in the morning, but if it shows up, it's going to be extremely light. I think a lot of us are going to miss out on that. It's really going to be in the heart of the afternoon that we get most of that moisture in here. You see that start to snow, maybe a little bit of mix, and then transitions, uh, transitions to rain as we get later into the evening as some warmer air starts to move in. But a lot of the moisture is going to be gone, so anything overnight is going to be pretty light. Some of that's going to linger into Sunday morning, but most of us should be dry as we finish out the weekend. Christmas holidays, look at this trough just sinking in when Santa's sleigh comes in from the North Pole. He's going to be dragging in the coldest air of the season with it. You'll see here these temperatures on Christmas Day barely getting into the 20s. Wind chills are going to be in the teens and single digits all day. So 29 tonight, high temperatures tomorrow, upper 30s, and then we've got a string of 40s before everything starts to really drop going in to the Christmas holidays. And Karen, a quick look at Christmas Eve there on Thursday. We will be seeing some snow in the morning and then starting to taper off as we get into the evening hours, but that could be enough to give us a white Christmas.